I want a peachy. Well, we quick update with this uh, Saint Apitha that was in a crash and all the airbags went off. Well, only one airbag went off and uh, the seatbelt's pre-tensioned. So I did a video about a week ago and uh, as this wee blue Ibiza here and we described how the uh, the airbags deployed, the guy hit a large curb, he went over a traffic end and uh, the airbag deployed in the driver's seat and that's it there. That's now in the boot because with the car fixed and uh, We'll take it around. He was dead jamming with a seat. Now, the punter went and got all the stuff. You know, I told him, I can get you all the stuff brand new, no problem, out of TPS. But, you know, you're talking about 1,200 quid. So to save himself a bit of money, he then went down and sourced. I give him a bit of guidance, give him a bit of direction, you know. But the transaction is between him and whoever it is he's buying it from. So if it's no good, it's nothing to do with me. So that's the way I've been sort of operating. If people want to save themselves money, then the onus is on them, you know. And that's like a new seat there, isn't it? This is what he told me. He paid 40 quid for that seat in a breakers. And it was bugging. And it was out of a car that was rode off. But the air airbag didn't deploy. So, yeah compared to the other one. I, on the way home from getting it, he put it in the boot of this car because I had the car running again uh, because in the last video that was all about getting the power steering back up and running again and uh, the airbag module was removed for to be able to do that. So he paid 40 quid for this seat and on the way home he dropped it into, you know those guys that do the uh, do the car washing, you know. They've taken over old uh, petrol stations and do car washing. And they cleaned it all up for him. And it cost him a tenner. So, happy days. Some job. So, uh, 50 quid in total for, and straight in, fitted, plug and play, no bar at all. Gift. So overall, back to there again. There's the belt. That's the original belt out of the car, remanufactured. And as it turned out, the passenger one, uh, pre-tensioned as well, the squib went off. So we had to do both belts. So uh, it was like a guitar string. There was nobody in the passenger seat when he had his crash and uh, but we discovered the passenger one was uh, like a piano wire and, uh, you know, so it had pretension as well. So we had to get that done as well. So two seat belts. He wasn't very happy when I'm here. Just told him about but anyway. Our bag light is out. So we're good to go and no fuel in it, as usual. So we'll just bring you back round. The guy went on the interweb and he discovered uh, a few companies in England and he went with this one and uh, we got all the stuff sent back to us. So two seat belts and I just got them to clear the uh, airbag, ECU, the crash data. They did that as well. The same company did that as well and uh, no problem at all. It all went straight in, just bolted it back in. I never recorded it because it's just screwing bolts, you know, and the, he presented me with this bag here. So I'm going to show you who he used. It's not who I used, it's who the punter used. Okay, so there's no links, no affiliation with this team here. And, you know, it's up to you. You can look them up if you want. And if they do your job, then great. But uh, this is not a recommendation. I, I'm, I knew nothing about them, basically, you know. 
So all I know, and there's, there's no invoice here, the guy must have kept it or something, I don't know. But he told me the rough sort of prices, and I'll tell you the rough prices. Your car may be different, you know? So this is who he used. He, got, he just Googled it, and that was it. He, he, he never heard of him before, neither did I. The airbag team, they're called. In Rotherham, South Yorkshire. So this is not a promotion. I do not know these people. But they sent two of his own airbags, or not airbags, seatbelts, remanufactured and fitted straight in, where you go. And I could see the, the black plastic cover that was removed from, from factory and there was two bolts in it. So they'd, they'd, they'd been in there, you know, so I could see that, you know. So what he told me was they said to him that they put the seatbelts back to factory specification back to the way they were, okay? And 75 pound plus fat each belt. And they charged them, I think 50 or 60 quid to erase the crash data out of the module. I marked the module with the VIN to make sure it was the same module came back. That is crucial. You can't just put a second hand module in and think you can recode it and it's gonna work because it probably has component protection on it. So second hand modules, you're gonna have, there is a way around it, you can do it, but you know, this by far is, the, for me anyway, is the easiest way. The punter, just tell them, this is another thing you need to do. You get somebody to do it, and that's it, send it away. 50 quid, something like that, and it was bundled in with the rest of it, so by far the easiest way to do it. So there's just a wee bit of script here. It doesn't really uh, mean much to me. And basically, my seatbelt, well, there's, there's a wee bit of, you know, help guidance here uh, that they're sending, you know. I had a wee read at it to see if it was going to tell me something that was, uh, you know, something I didn't know or something was out in the ordinary. And, and basically that there is, if the seatbelt rolls up, you know, in transit and you can't, uh, you can't get it uh, extended, you know, for the install, you know, that's, it's just how to release it, basically, you know, so you, you don't need to do anything really, you just have to have it sitting level and it'll, it'll come out again, you know, but anyway, uh, module fitting, uh, the usual sort of disclaimer, disconnect the battery, I did that, so two seconds does it, may as well do it, uh, you know, Make sure the ECA is bolted down to the chassis. I've seen that in a few uh, things before. Uh, so I, I to give it an earth. If the ECU isn't bolted down correctly, there'll be no communication as the ECU is earthed through the case. So yeah, that's a wee one for you to keep in mind. And then connect the battery cable back up. If we have supplied the ECU, make sure the part number of the supplied ECU is the same as the original. Uh, this must match for them pretty well. This is, I think this is generic, this is pretty general, you know, uh, but, you know, secondhand uh, stuff for the VAG group, component protection, I'm sure you've heard of it. That's, that's a problem, you know. So he got the original, his ECU, his module, his airbag module, back in again, and crashed out of deleted, hooked up VCDS, run a scan, host the codes, from the, the airbag uh, module now that it was connected up and just done a complete erase and all the faults disappeared. That was it, gift and uh, you know, what's this here? So all the scrapmancies must be reported when said days. So that's all I have, that's all they give me and yeah, that's it. I can't really tell you anymore, I don't think. So, uh, apart from uh, this guy here, he's a sporty sort of a guy, you know, must be, what's that, a badminton racket or something? And uh, this is some sort of bat here. Yeah, it weighs a ton. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, he must do a bit of cage fighting. Okay. 
There's a bit of uh, maybe motocross or something. Dead on. Well, he's getting that seat back in the boot. That's the way I got the car. I got the car with a driver's seat in the boot. So he's going to get it back with a driver's seat in the boot. So he can do what he likes with that seat there. So, anywho, there you go. Just thought I'd give you a wee update. A wee quick video telling you uh, that uh, acts not too long, a couple of hours, put all that in there. It was all just plug and play, nuts and bolts. Didn't film it, you know. Nothing really to show that uh, you couldn't do yourself, you know. Because it's a wee set, that plastic console, everything just unclips pretty easy, you know. So, okay, there you go. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks very much. All the best. Bye-bye.